Hey guys, so I have here my cordless hair clipper, which I bought a couple of years back, so like 2020. Uh, but by now, the battery doesn't really work that well anymore, so I can still charge the clipper and they're going to work that day. But if I just have it sitting around for a couple of days, then the battery will always be drained. So you can see here when I plug in the charging cord, then it's still uh, charging. This charging light still goes on if I, well try to turn it back on then it won't work at all right now but uh, yeah as I said if you just leave it charged then within a couple of days the battery will be drained so that means that the battery is defective uh, but that doesn't mean that we have to throw out the hair clipper completely we can just uh, get a new battery and replace that so usually the battery type that you find in one of these hair clippers is here the uh, 18650 type rechargeable lithium ion battery so that's what we're going to use uh, i found this replacement battery already in a different device that broke so i'm going to reuse that one but in case you need to order one of these batteries then i'm going to put an amazon link down in the comment section below so the first thing that i'm doing here is remove the uh, three phillips screws that hold the uh, cover the top cover of the clippers so I'm going to remove all three of those and then we can simply uh, pop off that uh, shiny little uh, plastic cover here. And underneath we find here on the left side that's the motor, electric motor. And then on the right that's uh, the uh, small motherboard and underneath that's where we find the battery. See here in blue, the light blue. That's the uh, battery that doesn't want to work anymore. And in order to get access we have to remove this little small Phillips screw, so I have to remove that one and then we can pull off the PCB here. Gently pull it out and uh, so the battery is soldered in, so we cannot just pull out the old battery and replace it. So you can see here, this battery is not just easily replaceable, we actually need to remove it mechanically and you can see here there's a couple of um, covering or strips here uh, glued onto this old battery going to reuse those and uh, well, let's make sure that the battery type is really the same so there's no label on this original battery so there's no 18650 that's written on there but uh, size wise it's exactly the same so we're assuming that this is the correct battery because this is a really popular used type of battery just have to make sure that we check out the correct side that we use the positive and the negative Pulls in the same way, so we don't want to accidentally install the new battery in the wrong order, wrong direction. So make sure before we uh, remove this original battery that we find out in which or, uh, direction it's installed. So first, I'm going to peel off here this little uh, sticker. This is here to uh, dampen or to protect the battery when we're using the clippers because the clippers are like vibrating a lot so there's a lot of mechanical action going on inside of the device and this will just make sure that the battery lasts a little bit longer so this will help protect the battery. So I'm not throwing the sticker away, I'm just going to keep this here someplace safe so that I can put that back once we have installed the new battery. Same here on the side, we have also the two stickers and uh, so now here you can see here this is where the uh, battery is soldered onto the pcb and here you can see here the left side that i'm pointing at is the positive side of the battery and the right side that's the negative side so you see here you b minus on the right side and b plus on the left side so this is how we have to install the new battery as well so you see here, this is the negative side of the battery that goes to the right and then the other side, that's the positive side of the battery that goes to the left. So now we still need to remove the original battery. And so this one is here welded onto these metal strips here. So you can see those little uh, four dots on those uh, on the metal strip. That those are welds. So they were using a welder to weld the battery onto those metal strips. You can try to break those loose with a sharp knife or something and but it's really difficult and uh, so at least for in my case i wasn't successful in detaching those so eventually the uh, uh, metal strips just broke off where the uh, closest welds are to the pcb so this is how this ended up looking 
And luckily these little stops ended up being just long enough for us to continue with the repair. So uh, just to make sure that the problem was really with the battery, just taking the uh, new battery and just holding it in place for now. And you can see the clippers are working again. So now we can continue by installing the new battery here. First step is to reattach the first strip of the uh, padding that goes right between the battery and the PCB. And then we need one of these here. In case you don't have a soldering iron, we're going to put a link in the uh, comment section below. We also need solder, solder paste. So this will help to adhere the solder to adhere. And then of course, a little bit of solder here, one of these bolts. Okay, so then let's start prepping the battery and the PCB by uh, just adding a little bit of that solder paste right on the ends of both ends of the battery. And then we're going to do the same here on those metal strips that we have that we're going to solder the battery onto. We're going to wipe just a little bit on there. It doesn't really need much. It's a little bit that you have some on there. And then we're going to install the battery. We're just going to line it up. Of course, make sure that you have the orientation right. So here on the right side, we have the negative end of the battery first. We're going to take our soldering iron pick up a little bit of solder and then uh, all we have to do is to heat up the metal strip and the battery just a little bit so that the uh, solder will connect both pieces together. Try to not heat up the battery too much uh, because the battery doesn't really like heat so we want to work really quickly here. See this is already enough, this will just hold the negative side of the battery to the uh, metal strip. Okay, and then we're going to repeat the same thing on the other end, on the positive side, of course, as well. And while you do this, definitely make sure that you're aligning the battery correctly with the PCB. So you don't want to have this crooked on there or misaligned. Otherwise, you may have some trouble putting everything back together. So putting the battery and the PCB board back into the uh, casing of our clippers. And then we have going to attach here the uh, second strip here, the cushioning strip here on the top of the battery, as well as those stickers on the sides. And then just to make sure the battery doesn't detach somehow, I'm going to add some tape here. You know, putting some tape around the PCB and the battery together so that both won't separate in the future. And then it's already time to uh, put everything back together. We're going to uh, make sure when we put the PCB and the battery right back into the case that we are not somehow pinching all of those wires and make sure those are all nicely out of the way and secure so that they don't rub through somehow or get damaged in the future. And then we are aligning the PCB correctly here with, the, with those holes here that the, uh, the small Phillips screw was in. That was this hole here in the upper right corner. So let's reattach that. Then we still have the uh, charging port. So first make sure that those wires go in somehow nicely and not going to be pinched somehow. And then we're going to slide here the plastic case of the uh, charging port right into the back end here of the uh, clippers. They should be, uh, should be sitting nicely, shouldn't be moving around. And now if everything looks nice and we can uh, try out the clippers again one last time before we close it up and then of course here put the back the cover back on make sure that everything everything you know, sits nicely there's no uh, gaps where there shouldn't be a gap see here this looks perfect just like original and then of course we have here the uh, screws to hold down the cover and that was already it so now our clippers uh, fully functional again we can charge them with the original charger as usual and they're pretty much good as new okay so i hope you found this video helpful if you have any more questions or comments then leave a message below and if you like the video then give me a thumbs up